Hi, I'm Janine Mitchell. On March 28, 2004, it was the one year anniversary of my mother's death. I was invited to attend a service of prayer and meditation at Our Lady Queen of Peace Sanctuary in Joshua Tree, California. I was always intrigued to go to Joshua Tree ever since I heard about it on the U2 album. Now I know why. While I was taking photos of a life-size oil painting of the Blessed Mother Mary, I noticed in the viewfinder of my camera she was moving. I then switched my function setting to video mode and recorded until the battery ran out of power 28 minutes of our Mother Mary moving her mouth, her hands, her toes, her eyes, her heart. There are 300 frames per clip. You can view them frame by frame. Here, in this frame, many people see the image of Jesus Christ. When this happened, I felt an enormous amount of responsibility. I knew in that moment my life would never be the same. I asked, why me? Our Lady Queen of Peace Sanctuary is a very sacred and special place in Joshua Tree, California. The icon was presented on June 24th the feast day of John the Baptist. And on June 24, 1981, on the feast day of John the Baptist, is when the Holy Mother descended from heaven to earth and measure glory. It took Yasmina approximately 21 months to complete the painting of the icon of Our Lady Queen of Peace. While Janine was video the icon, and the icon was moving alive. The mother was whispering to me, your grandmother love you so much. She prayed to the Blessed Mother that the Holy Mother would bless you. This is the prayers of your grandmother. You lost your grandmother, you lost your mother, you lost your brother, you have no one. Grandmother prayer has come true. That's why the mother made the miracle with your little camera. There were seven rays coming from her. Seven rays. Not earthly rays, but seven heavenly rays. And those rays that touched that place that day and Joshua Tree. That blessing is carried with us. It is immeasurable. It is precious. So I pray to God that if you watch this miracle video and receive the blessing, that may your life be accomplished with the love and the peace and the light that the mother is shining upon the world every day. So may you have more peace in your mind and more peace in your body and more peace in your spirit. She'll be able to touch the lives of those who watch a miracle video. It will be a message for each and every one who will sit in her presence and watch that video. This is her gift to humanity. There were others there that day who witnessed the event. My name is Swarupani Jahari Funches. What we saw was the icon coming alive. Her lips were moving, her eyes were dancing, her body was moving, her hands, she was floating, floating off of the painting. We were in disbelief, to say the least. So we had one more person who had a camera, 
He began to film it. We looked into his camera, his name is David, and nothing. It was still like it was when we first saw the painting. We looked again through Janine's, and it went through transformation after transformation. Her face has changed. She looked like women from different nationalities. Her lips moved slowly, then they moved quickly. Her eyes, I, I can't even describe the eyes. The eyes were probably the most um, significant for me. Uh, she looked like straight through you, like I am talking to you. <laughs> You're looking through the camera, I'm talking to you. And uh, we sat still, we meditated, we cried. <laughs> we took chances looking through the camera and um, it was the most beautiful experience of my life. I've never experienced anything like it. And I was honored to be there. Hi, my name's David Faithful. I was one of the people present on the day this phenomena happened. I remember I was standing next to Janine when she mentioned uh, on her camera on the little screen that the uh, image of the Virgin Mary, the painting she was shooting, what seemed to be animating. Um, I actually had, had a camera, a similar camera with me that time myself, and I filmed the painting with my camera. And at that time, it didn't seem it was doing anything. It didn't seem to be affecting my camera. Uh, but later, we'd shot some more stuff, and possibly some of that in uh, looking at it. And later on, it seems to have some, some images that moved. On December 1st, 2006, I discovered while I was getting all the materials in order to finish this documentary, three phenomenal pieces of footage from Dave's camera of Mother Mary moving. And I saw it coming through Dave's camera as well. It wasn't as powerful as it was coming through the other camera, but it was still coming through pretty strong. Well, this stuff happening in Dave's camera too is just different. And as far as the technical aspect, when I grabbed the camera and started filming Janine doing it, and Dave's camera also had some stuff going on and it was still coming through. It just wasn't quite as powerfully manifested as through her camera. The mouth was moving and I thought it was still significant. And to get two cameras to act like that in the same day seems odd. I saw a similar like thing coming out of her mouth, um, meaning her talking a lot of a lot of energy around that area. It was kind of like going pretty wild. Her eyes were changing, it was subtly changing, her face was changing. So for me I thought it was significant that it was coming out through the mouth like that. I mean I thought that was a pretty direct correlation between, you know, the metaphor of greatness was coming out of the Mother Mary, so we should pay attention. I see Mary really as an aspect of ourselves that we have to really incorporate into ourselves, you know? And I think that that's what that message was about. I could see her as obviously the a sort of individualization of, of the divine female consciousness. And knowing that all these that the Mother Mary, I guess, is, is, is real, really. You know, I mean, it is real. I feel privileged to be here and uh, privileged to have been there that day, maybe a once in a lifetime situation. Hi, my name is Brian Callier. I'm a computer graphics artist and a, and a visual effects artist. I'm also a video engineer. I've been doing this for 20 years or so. When Janine approached me with this, asked me to analyze this video and look at it, I told her I was going to be as skeptical as possible and so it was the objective as possible. And then, after spending the time looking at it, I realized, and I it stabilized several portions of it, I realized that the motion that was there was very hard to identify, and I couldn't identify it. It's, I've never seen an artifact like that before, and, and I can't explain it in any way. I went frame by frame on it, and, and I had the ability to, to go in very tight on it, and very wide, and look at the change in the dynamics when you go in tighter on it. It's really amazing. After analyzing the video, especially in part, the detailed parts, such as the eyes and mouth, I couldn't identify what the motion was. What I was absolutely able to identify was that this was not duplicated or altered in any way. What is going on there, I can't tell you. This is what I do for a living. I do visual effects and I know how they're done. This video is genuine and I could verify what you see here is the actual thing. Nothing was done to this tape. What you see is what you get on this. This has not been tampered or altered with in any way. I believe that that's the real image of Mary. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. The holy words uttered by Elizabeth, the mother of John the Baptist. On the mountainside there in Joshua Tree, the universal rosaries, she called them pearls from heaven. 
pearls from heaven has come to earth to allow all denominations, all religions, all races, all people to recite the Universal Rosary for World Peace. Peace and peace and our hearts, our mind, and to keep on our lips. This is Our Lady message. lead to one path. Love. We are all one. The entire series of videos is available to view on the World Wide Web for free. This is so anyone who has access to a computer can view the videos, hopefully respond, and share their experience with us to help better understand her message to humanity. Some people say this may create a conflict. We welcome that, so as long as it confines itself to a free exchange of ideas. One of our goals is that this project will uplift the view people have so people can view the world with more faith, compassion, and love. We sincerely hope that everyone receives their own gifts and that they share it. And for this, we can thank our Blessed Mother Mary. <laughs>